Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow circle uh, fully confined uh, between uh, these uh, two tangent uh, lines as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, line segment uh, PB is perpendicular to this uh, chord DE and the length uh, of this uh, perpendicular PB is uh, X units and furthermore uh, this uh, line segment uh, AB is uh, 18 and this uh, line segment uh, BC is 8 uh, units and now our task is to find the value of uh, length uh, X please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and since we are dealing with this uh, challenging kind of problem so therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box and I'm going to draw some auxiliary lines. I'm going to connect uh, this point uh, B with this uh, point D and this point B with the, this point uh, E as well. As you can see in this uh, next step I have connected these uh, points. And now let's recall alternate segment theorem. According to this theorem if we have this uh, triangle ABC fully inscribed in a circle uh, with this uh, tangent and this uh, point A is uh, our tangency point then according to this theorem uh, this angle uh, has got to be equal to this angle inside this triangle and likewise uh, this uh, angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle inside that triangle so let's go ahead and apply this uh, theorem in our case if we have uh, this angle if I call this angle uh, alpha then uh, this angle inside this uh, triangle EBD is going to be alpha as well. This theorem is a little bit uh, confusing. Let me go ahead and give you a quick uh, proof to this uh, theorem. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle ABC inscribed in a circle uh, with this uh, tangent and now we are going to prove that this angle uh, alpha must be equal to this uh, angle uh, beta inside this uh, triangle and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center O with these uh, points uh, A and uh, C as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now we can see that this uh, OA and uh, OC are the radii of the very same uh, circle so therefore uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, congruent. So therefore uh, this triangle uh, ACO is going to be an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be equal to this uh, angle. If this angle is uh, X uh, then this angle has got to be X uh, as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent uh, will always be equal to 90 degrees and in our case we can see that this OA is the radius uh, and this uh, is the tangent line so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees so therefore this other angle is going to be 90 degrees as well so now let's make an observation we can see that this angle X and this angle alpha is going to be equal to 90 degrees so therefore I can write down uh, angle alpha plus uh, angle X is going to be 90 degrees and now let's recall this uh, perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord into two equal parts as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and uh, we can see that this OD is the perpendicular bisector therefore we get these uh, two congruent uh, triangles so therefore uh, this angle has got to be equal to this angle if this angle if I call Y then this angle has got to be Y as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, OAD and now let's recall that this uh, triangle sum theorem the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle uh, is always equal to 180 degrees so therefore all these angles X uh, Y and this 90 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees therefore I can write uh, this angle X plus this angle uh, 
y plus 90 degrees equals to 180 degrees let's go ahead and subtract 90 degrees from both sides this is gone so therefore x plus y turns out to be equal to 90 degrees and here i have copied down this uh, equation uh, right up here now let's go ahead and compare these uh, two equations since the right hand sides are uh, same so we can equate the left hand sides as well so therefore we can write uh, alpha plus x equal to x plus uh, y let's go ahead and subtract x from both sides this is gone this is gone so therefore alpha turns out to be equal to y and now let's recall the central angle theorem according to this uh, theorem the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference so therefore in our case for this uh, given arc uh, this is going to be our angle at the center and this angle is going to be at the circumference and moreover this angle has got to be twice of uh, this angle and this total angle is going to be y plus y is going to make uh, 2y so therefore i can write uh, 2y equals to 2 times uh, angle beta now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this 2 is gone 2 is gone so therefore y turns out to be equal to angle uh, beta and now let's compare these uh, two equations y equals to alpha over here and here y equals to beta so therefore we conclude that alpha has got to be equal to beta and that's uh, our uh, proof so thus i have proven that these uh, two angles are indeed congruent and now let's focus on these uh, two right uh, triangles uh, triangle uh, bcd and this triangle uh, pbe and conclude that uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles according to angle uh, angle similarity theorem let's assume that this uh, bd length uh, is uh, a units and this uh, EB length uh, is uh, lowercase b units. Then we have got a proportion. We can write uh, A divided by B equals to 8 divided by X. So therefore, let me go ahead and equate these two ratios. Uh, A divided by B equals to 8 divided by X. Let me go ahead and call this equation uh, 1 and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two other uh, right uh, triangles triangle uh, bpd and triangle uh, bae and we conclude that these uh, two triangles are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportions once again a divided by b equals to x divided by 18 let me go ahead and write down a divided by b equals to x divided by 18 let me go ahead and call this our equation number two now let's go ahead and compare these uh, equations one and two since the left hand sides uh, are uh, same so therefore we can uh, equate the right hand sides as well so therefore i can write uh, x divided by 18 equals to 8 divided by x now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore x times x is going to give us uh, x square equals to 8 times 18 is uh, 144 and now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square so i'm going to take the square root on both sides so therefore our x value turns out to be positive uh, 12 so thus our length uh, x turns out to be 12 units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.